Okay, if you take a look at the bell work problem on the board today, it tells us that the fare charges an admission price and a fee for each ride. Joe spent $10.50 and went on four rides. Janie spent $14.25 and went on nine rides. And I asked you to write an equation that models the relationship and then use that equation to predict the cost to go on 17 rides. Okay, if you think about this, the first thing you're going to have to do is write an equation. And if you're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form, of course you're going to need the slopes and the y-intercept. So we need to find out what's our slope and what's our y-intercept. Remember slope, we abbreviate with an M, and the y-intercept is abbreviated with a B. Slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus B. Okay, so slope. To find the slope of a line, we would take the change in the y values and put it over the change in their x values. And if we're going to do that, we need to figure out which one of these, um, what should our x and our y represent in this scenario? Well, if you think about it, how much does it cost for these guys to go to the fair? Well, that depends on the number of rides that they go on. So the number of rides is going to be your input or your independent variable or your x. Let x be the number of rides. And we'll have our y value be the total cost. Because the total cost is dependent on the number of rides. Okay, so there's our dependent variable or our output or our y value. And our input or our x value is the number of rides. Well, we know that when X is 4, 4 rides costs $10.50. That's one ordered pair. That's one point we could put on the coordinate plane. When X is 4, Y is 10.50. We also know that when X is 9, 9 rides would cost $14.25. Okay, so we set that information up as two ordered pairs so that we can use the slope formula to find the slope of the line. Okay, remember slope formula, the y-coordinate of point 0.2 minus the y-coordinate of point 0.1 over the x-coordinate of point 0.2 minus the x-coordinate of point 0.1. Okay, so 1425 minus 1050, 375, 9 minus 4, is 5. 375 divided by 5 is 75 cents. So our slope is 0 0.75. What does our slope mean in this case? Remember slope is change in y over change in x. It's the cost per ride. 75 cents per ride. Okay, so now we've got to find a y-intercept. The y-intercept, remember slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And we just found that our slope is 75 cents. So I'm going to replace this m with 75 cents. And to replace uh, my x and y values, I can use either of these ordered pairs. I'm going to pick this first one, and I'm going to plug in a 1050 for my y. My slope was 75 cents. My x value is 4 and we can figure out what B is. Okay, so here we go. 1050 equals 75 cents times four. 75 cents times four is $3 plus B. I want to get the B by itself. We'll subtract $3 from both sides, and we get 750 equals B. So I know my y-intercept now is 750. So the equation that we're looking for is y equals 0.75x plus 750. What does this equation mean? y, remember, is the total cost. The total cost is 75 cents per ride. My slope, remember, is the cost per ride. 75 cents per ride plus 750. What is the 750? The y-intercept represent? It's going to be your admission price. Remember, you haven't gone on any rides when you paid your 750. All right. Now, to do the second part of this, predict the cost to go on 17 rides. Well, remember, our x value is the number of rides, so let's replace this x with a 17. The 
total cost will be 0 0.75 cents times 17 plus 7.50. 75 cents times 17 is 12.75 plus 7.50. It's going to give you a total of $20.25. So the total cost to go on 17 rides would be $20.25. Recapping, real quick, on a problem like this, and you will see this again, you need to first find the slope of the line. To find the slope of the line, you're going to do your change in y over change in x. It may help you to define your variables first. Always a good idea. Let x be the rides, let y be the total cost. Set up your ordered pairs. Use those ordered pairs to find the slope. Plug your slope into uh, slope intercept form, linear equation, and an x and a y value, and solve for b. Once you know your slope and you know your y intercept, you can write the equation. Once you have the equation, you can make a prediction. Good luck.